What is going on guys? DBG here today. We're doing another my team gameplay and a huge shout out to Demi Gods. Thanks for letting me use the account for this video. We are going to be using PG 13 lots. He might be the best two guard in the game. 619, which is funny. Because I'm pretty sure the other Paul George cards in the game are 6 foot 8. I could be I could be wrong about that one. But I'm pretty sure in terms of Paul George, maybe some of them are definitely, definitely 6 foot 8. So this card is 6'9. Oh no, is is um Opal 6 foot 9 as well. His pink diamond 6 foot 9. His diamond is 6 foot 9. Okay, so it's only his current cards that are 6'8. That's a bit of a weird one. So his three series current his three current series cards are six foot nine six foot eight, the rest of them are six foot nine. So, Paul George. Small forward slash two guard. Six foot nine, obviously, two twenty pounds, which means he can curry slide on current gen, but again, curry slide doesn't mean everything and it doesn't mean that much on current gen. He's got fifty half sixteen golds. That includes dimer, clamps, uh, interceptor, heart crusher, intimidator. He's also got post artist slash showtime. He just deep threes, range extender. He's also got like high handles, quick first step. So in terms of his badges, like he's got all the key badges in my team. He really does all the key badges, flexible. So it really is just based on his release. In terms of his stats, I mean, dude's got 95 plus in everything that matters, especially for a two guard. In everything that actually matters, he's got 95 plus. So we might as well, like there's, it's all gonna be about animations. Like he's going to feel like he's one of the best cards in the game, honestly. Um, absolutely, absolutely fantastic, fantastic player. What's limited week this week? So this week for limited, all guys on 90 speed or higher, all forwards was 80 speed or higher. What? Why is Yao eligible? Whatever, either way. Um, let's go to freestyle and check out Paul George. So really, the comparison I'm going to be making to for Paul George in this game is... I need to change this um, arena. Basically, I'm going to be comparing Paul George to Jimmy Butler. So I have Jimmy Buckets. Jimmy Buckets is one of my... I'm not going to say one of my favorite cards, but he's the guy that I currently run at the two-guard position on my squad. I'm kind of... Again, I'm kind of like torn between like Jimmy Buckets and Steve Francis. But at the end of the day, um, they're both... Oh, no, no fireball. No fireball. No fireball. Um, they're both good cards. So, will be interesting to see how, um, how they compare. Because they are two of the best two guards in the game. Doesn't matter what gen you are on. It does not matter what gen you are on. They are two of the best in the game. So, there we go. Okay, his movement seems all right. The release. I mean, PG on very quick. It's Richard Duma's release, which I did really like on Richard Duma. I'm kind of struggling with the green Ds, but shouldn't make too much of a difference. Okay. Okay. The green under the player is a little bit off button, but it's not a big deal. Pro three. I mean, as far as two guards go, I mean, give me him over Kevin Durant. It all depends on who's release you prefer, and I prefer PG base to KD base, so. And at least you'll be able to test that KD base on Robert Reed. But, uh. Yeah, this is a. He's gonna be a very, very solid card. His movement is really nice anyway. And again, you can tell with these type of players, like, movement is such a big thing. And it's just how how they just feel running around with them. Some players feel faster than they should. Some players feel slow. He doesn't feel particularly like he doesn't feel like god tier fast. KD will feel like faster, but like we're looking at elite two guards. He is two inches bigger than Jimmy Butler. Has quite a bit of a longer wingspan. In my opinion, PG base is as good, if not better, than twenty two. Even though I'm struggling mightily to green right here. There we go. It is again one of those weird things when I'm I'm struggling so much on Xbox to shoot. Like when I'm on my PS5, I'm fine. It's just when I go to Xbox, it is just struggle town. I did full twice there. 
All right, it is what it is. But um, yeah, Paul George looks to be a really, really nice card. At that two guard position, it should be great whether you're using him as a cone or not. If you're using him as a cone, I wouldn't even advise using him because like, you just want someone to uh, play defense as long. If he's not gonna be guarding your point guard and you wanna use him at the, or guarding your team's point guard and you just wanna use him to shoot, I mean, honestly, there are, he's nothing compared to Ray Allen as a just pure catch shoot player. But uh, no, he's very, very nice. So anyway, now it's game three. And now let's get on to the game. So yeah, PG. Chicken man, Paul George. He should be a... Uh... I don't know, that's a... Uh... I can't be calling everyone chicken man. He's not... He used to be chicken man. His release used to be the best in 2K. Like in, from 2K, for me, it's up until 2K19. I used to say, think Paul George had one of the three or four best releases in my team. I was such a big fan of PG in this game, in these games. Um, give me him and give me 80. That works. But yeah, this is the first like two guard Paul George we have. I'm still a big fan of that power forward card. I think that is a very, very good card. And he's supremely, supremely underrated. Like for me, he's better than like a Zion. Like, I'm pretty sure I put him B tier in my last tier list. Okay, let's see who we're playing. Thon. Why do I face this dude in every game? Who is this dude? Who is this? This is not a human. Stopped Zen Toxic Ball. Okay, that's... That's this guy's name. That's green, let's go, good shot. But this guy, we've matched up to him in every video. I tried to find an unlimited game actually on this system and I just couldn't. There, I can guarantee you there are literally less than 100 people right now playing my team on um, Xbox Next Gen in Europe. Like 100 might be a might be a push. Like this is not a real person. We have faced him so many times. And like this is out like this is four hours later. This uh, this if this is a real person, he has been doing this for four hours. This exact thing. I saw a thon and was like, please be a good thon. This is obviously just a bot. Oh my god, am I gonna am I gonna have to go and play some triple chat offline? Because I can't find a game in unlimited. Two, one. Oh my god! If they run out another, if they run out another 24 second violation, I'm just gonna quit. 2K, you need to do something about this. He's about to go release my Paul George. Like what? At least they shot. Hey, this can't be a real person. There is no way this is a real person. At least, actually, no. I did just... If this is a real person, you have wait. You have seriously wasted the last four hours of your life. You have seriously, seriously wasted it. And that's one of the unfortunate things it seems about Xbox on next gen for in Europe. It's either, in fairness, I got two games in a row. I know I I didn't. I got. Did I get two games? Yeah, I think I got two games in a row in the Wiseman gameplay. Against real humans. But no, it's just bots. It's just bots in this continent. And I just got destroyed there by Thon. There we go. Good chat there by PG. At least I've got his release down. A little bit more than I had in shoot around. You just throw the ball into my hands, please. Shoot it. Shoot it. Our ball. Oh, no. Shoot it. Shoot it, please. What? Oh, I'm just... Just looking at this whole situation is in shock. Alright. Let's go and play an actual game right here. Fingers crossed we can find someone else. Otherwise, to be fair, if we're playing Triple Chat offline, we're just doing the same thing as we've done right there. We are... Literally, literally just... Just using the AI. I wish 2K would do something about that. Would do something about those 
But there's nothing I think they can do. I don't think there's anything 2K can do about the scripts. Like obviously someone programmed a script to a Zen controller and is using it just to farm MT. Which is... I mean... Probably smart. It does ruin the game for a lot of people. And it's mad how few people there must be when I've played against that guy four times for videos. And like, remember when I said... I wasn't lying when I said I was four months off this console. I'm back one day and we face a bot in more than 50% of our games. This is one good thing though. If you're looking for Bailey Hell or you're looking for Gary Harris and Emmanuel Moudier, it's actually a really, really easy one. If you want Alex English, you want Bailey Hell. Go to, get a VPN if you can. Go to Europe and face off against this this one specific bot, because at least if someone else is facing him, it's not gonna be me. Because I think it is the same bot every time. Maybe it's different names, but they're always out there running Shaq, Thonmaker, and um, Mo Bamba. Come on. Come on. Like again, we took way too long there for the ball drop. We took way too long for the ball drop. We can't face off against this guy again. It could take a minute. It definitely take a minute, but as long as we're facing a human being and not a bot, I am happy. But now, Paul George, though, his movement is fine, his release is good. Like, that's realistically all that it really matters. In terms of defensive animations, we know what Paul George, we know what Paul George, we know he doesn't get the greatest defensive animations. Oh, dear God, I think that's the same team again. Screw this, screw this, I don't care, take your win. Take your win. How does this keep happening? I literally spent two minutes in the ball drop zone. How does this? I matched up to him almost every time. It's whatever. So apologies for losing you potentially 10 tokens. Apologies for losing, losing you a bit of empty. Demi got Sphinx if you're here. But what the hell is going on? With this gen and this game, is there really only one? Is there really nobody playing this game in this continent? Okay, 1,370 triple tread offline wins. Let's play some triple tread offline, I guess. Because I couldn't find a game in Unlimited either. This is less, like, there are less people playing this game than are playing PC. On PC right now. Ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. There are less people playing on Xbox Series X than playing on PC. And more people, I'm pretty sure, have this Xbox console than have the PS5 in Europe. I don't, don't quote me on that, but I know it's a lot easier to get the Xbox and the PS5 here. Nice dunk by the, Air Paul, by the AI Paul George. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pro 3. Cross. Oh, let's cook him. Let's cook him. Let's cook him. That's open. Green that. That's my fault. Come on. Be better. We get the hang of his release, but unfortunately, we uh, we were we got the hang of it playing online, and offline is completely different. As we shoot a thirty right there, but it goes down. Okay, PG's got sharp take anyway, so at least he's uh he's got one of the good he's got the good, best take. Good defense, Isaac. Big board. Nope, Vince there at the putback slam. For a three, it's open. Oh yeah, give me that one, that's a full. It's fine. As Vince goes and um, hits a three in our face. Give me that. Green, finally, a bad time. He's definitely a secondary option. I will say that about PG, he is, that release, I mean, it isn't the bad release by any means, but he is a secondary option. Like, use your point guard, use your bull bulls as a primary ball handler, use your James Wiseman's. And PG, as great of a shooter as he is, and you can see here, he is a quality, quality shooter. Um, The release is just, it just doesn't feel that smooth to me off the dribble. I think I would much rather take, like I'd much rather have, say, bull bull go into the basket. I'd much rather use, say, Manu as my primary. But, like, I mean, PG as a tertiary option 
Like, if you're running with, say, Ferry at the three, and then your point guard is... If you're running, imagine, Ferry at the three, your PG is, like, Simmons or something, and power forward, you're running Bull Bull, center, I don't know, James Wiseman. Like, he is the perfect guy to run to two with that type of lineup. So, like, if you're out here with, like, a god-tier lineup, he's PG, as you saw there, he got a nice block. His defensive animations are pretty decent, and he's got the length, which is the biggest thing on defense. Like, he's got the length. He can switch on to centers if needed. Like, if he gets caught in a situation where, look, um, we get caught in a pick and roll, and we have to switch it, and he goes from guard, I mean, primary ball handler to guarding a center, or even a power forward, he can more than do that. Which is probably, for me, the biggest thing is just versatility. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a way better 2K20 Nick Batum. If you remember the way Nick Batum was last year, how his biggest strength was his ability to switch on everything on defense. And PG at the two allows you to do more than that. And I just think his player build is, is a defense is that bit better than Kevin Garnett or Kevin Durant's. I will say, I don't think his shooting is as good. His movement is not as good as Kevin Durant's. But I will also say that Kevin Durant is more of an offensive player, whereas PG, at that wider player build, gets some nice animations. Probably more of a defensive player compared to Kevin Durant. But, um, yeah, a nice mystery pack there. Hopefully, we can get this guy, Larry Keenan. Nope, doesn't open. But, uh, yeah, that is kind of a crazy one. That is kind of a crazy one. Like, we literally cannot find a game on this console in Europe that isn't uh, against the same dude, just against the same boss, that is. So, anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. That's the video. PG, very, very good. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.